So I started writing when I was a student at the University of New Mexico, and the writing really came. It was because there was a need to write. I had no plans to be a writer, especially a poet. I was an active part of the Native rights activity. The need arose in me to use words as a witness. It surprised me. It really surprised me. It's like the spirit of poetry came to me and said, OK, you're coming with me. And I couldn't say no. I got my first NEA fellowship in 1978. It was perfect timing. Because of that first fellowship, I wrote She Had Some Horses, which has become my signature. It's the book that put me into the world. What followed on that was in Mad Love and War and other books. With all writers, with all artists, with all humans, we all carry ancestors. We carry stories. We carry the, their songs. I think that's what DNA, the DNA spiral, really is a spiral carrying these songs and these poems and these words and these images from our peoples. Like eagle that Sunday morning over Salt River, circled in blue sky and wind, swept our hearts clean with sacred wings. We see you, see ourselves, and know that we must take the utmost care and kindness in all things. Breathe in, knowing we are made of all this, and breathe, knowing we are truly blessed because we were born and die soon within a true circle of motion. Like eagle rounding out the morning inside us, we pray that it will be done in beauty, in beauty. <laughs>